I didn't know this, but Indonesia is 17 and a half thousand islands make up this country. We have all decided globally to go to one of them. The traffic in Changu, the traffic in Semenyak, the traffic in Kuda is you will not find any kind of spiritual awakening, any meditation, yoga. It'll be undone by the traffic and the exhaust. I have another suggestion. Let's check out another group of islands right next door, one hour flight away called the Komodo National Park. Live aboard dive boat, you can snorkel, you can scuba dive, you can free dive, you can do whatever you want, but it takes you out of that traffic, out of that city vibe. It's quiet, it's peaceful. You're on a boat, everything is taken care of for you. It's super inexpensive, I promise. I think we spent a thousand dollars a week, like that for room and accommodation, massive. So. You've heard of Komodo, you've heard of the dragons, which are amazing, and you will see the dragons punch what's under the water, it's next level. It's so, so incredible. It's vibrant, it's like the jungle, but underwater. Everything's competing for space, there's no dead coral, there's massive fish, massive coral reef. It's, I've done it twice, if that says anything. Hey Dean. Yes. How's that dive? Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> Just hanging out with the uh, manta rays. Was it, what size manta would you say? No, what do you reckon, like two and a half meters? Yeah, it was probably one of the biggest I've seen. Yeah, it was pretty big. Yeah. Just chilling there on the rock. Yeah. Just fighting the five knots of current. Yeah. I was wicked. Oh, it's so good. Good times. How was your dive? It's so good. Yeah? So yeah. good. You have Amazing. fun? Amazing. Yes. You see, you see some eels? Yes. Two. Big ones. Really nice one. How was the dive, everyone? Wow, oh, perfect. Amazing. <laughs> Very good. That was fun. Ooh. Thank you, Ricky. You're welcome. Yes. Three, three. <laughs> that was... I'm ready for like a boring dive. Like every time there's like a, I'm like, it's gonna be boring. So we basically dropped down, went about a hundred meters and just plopped on to a manta QB roll right now of a manta just parked right in front of us. We couldn't, we were less than a meter away at certain times. It kind of ebbed and flowed with the current. Oh, it's good. And then we just, what we used up half our air doing that, maybe a little bit more and then picked up and went to shop like over all this cool stuff, these little oasis of, of coral heads and live, just vibrant life on the ground. It was so good. Maybe four knots, five knots, just <laughs> loved it. That was an adventure. <laughs> hey, 
Dean. How's the droning? Good. A bit sketchy. <laughs> yeah. A few close calls. It's always from, a, from the boat is always the most hectic. So people don't understand. Let's bring it back. All right. top that tomorrow uh, skipping the night dive tonight uh, just didn't feel like it started editing video and labeling video and just was not in the mood for it but uh can't recommend this trip this tripping up the second time I've done it it's absolutely worth it the life down there is vibrant it's just there's life everywhere it's not there's no dead spots and uh, once you get a bit deeper, you can't see the color as much, but when we're about anything about 15 meters to 10 meters and above, the, when the sun hits it, it's like a fantasy. It's so good, it's so good.
I hope you saw how much better that is than sitting in traffic, queue traffic right now. Uh, Seminyak, Kuda, Changu, promise you, there are so many more islands and so many more cool things to do in Indonesia. Just think outside the box, don't follow the herd because I promise you the herd is already there and you won't have room for accommodation, driving, anything. You'll just be kind of like, why did I come here? That's my view on it. I hope you enjoy.